Now, can you talk about uh, Harris's influence on the game? It felt like he was running things pretty well out there, not not just scrim, especially during the run you guys took over when he was getting the ball to the right person. Can you talk about what he did? Yeah, um, Paris Austin, he played really hard. He attacked the rim, which opened up shots from the outside. Defensively, he played really well as well. And he just was a captain on the floor. He made sure everyone was composed. And, um, you know, because of him, he was a big part of why we won. Does it feel like when he's sort of the playmaker and the distributor that you guys are at your best? Yes, uh, it makes it a lot easier for all of us to play our game. So when he's, you know, distributing, facilitating, and playing his game, it makes it a lot easier. So. And Andre, it looked like I think he dumped a couple of them off to you for – like yeah. one-foot shots, huh? Yeah, he did a good job getting the lane, and uh, it was really easy for me to just get an out right there, so it was did, nice. Did you know a couple of those were coming? Uh, I, Paris does a good job in practice. He always is looking for his teammates, so whenever he drives to the basket, I'm always looking for the ball. So uh, he does a very good job finding his teammates when we're up here. Can you guys talk a little bit about what the message was at halftime? I think you guys were down, and in the second half, you guys came out and pushed their head. Just what was the <clears> main message at halftime for the coach? Um, our coach, he said he was really proud of us at half, you know, because uh, there were some parts where the game could have gone either way and we just kept fighting back. So he came in the locker room really positive, letting us know. He said, I'm really proud of you guys. I know you guys are fighting back right there. It's only a two-point game. And we get the ball at half, uh, the start of the half. So he was like, we're right there. Um, so he was just reinforcing positive stuff to us. It was good. Matt, you talked about at media day uh, that you were uh, going to be more aggressive and more assertive with the ball this year and do more than just shoot three. You shot them really well. but. Just talk about your mindset in terms of uh, trying to score the ball. Um, biggest thing coming in the game, I just wanted to win. I wanted to win the first one at home. And, um, I left, you know, I wasn't really thinking about scoring. I wasn't really thinking about anything else. I just wanted to win. And when you, when you think about that, you just automatically play hard. And I felt like that's what I did. So. Matt, it doesn't seem like that extra foot and a half from the three-point line is any issue for you. I uh, put in a lot of work, this, uh, all of us, this past summer and fall before season started. So it felt good. Can you walk us through the play where Grant saved it to you and you had to step back in the corner? Um, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a great pass by Grant. And um, I don't know, just, I'm glad I made it. Yeah, it felt good. Andre, you look pretty aggressive as the role man in, in pick and roll situations with Matt or with Paris. Is that something you worked on um, over the summer or uh, is that just something coaches put in this year for you? Uh, they work really hard on making sure I roll really hard to the basket. Um, Coach Hammond does a really good job of making sure I roll every single time like super hard and whether we're just walking through a play. So I think it's like kind of ingrained in me. Um, just roll really hard, especially when Matt and Paris come off the ball screen. I know that if my man helps at all, they're finding me. So it makes it that much uh, more fun to roll when you have teammates that are looking for you all the time. Ross had 17 for them in the first half. They didn't have much in the second half. Was there a more of a defensive focus on shutting him down in the second half? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a team effort. Um, Ross is a really good player. And this whole week uh, during scouting, our coaches were telling us, you know, we got to guard him as a team. It's a team job to slow him down. And um, in the first half, we didn't do the best job of um, slapping him as a team. But then in the second half, you know, we came together and we did a better job of um, helping off on him uh, to make sure we made him take difficult shots. You, you guys went through a difficult season last year, and it's behind you now. It's just one game. But can you just talk about sort of emotionally what it feels like to get this one in, to, especially coming from behind to win at home? Uh, it feels good. Just ready for the next game. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the season and just what our guys have to bring, and we're going to just keep competing. Did anything change for you guys at halftime on the three-point defense? Because there was a stretch where I think they were two for 11 to start the second half from three. Um, I think we just – to say the least, it was just toughness. I feel like we played a lot harder. Uh, we were really locked down defensively. And, you know, when times were getting close and it was about the end of the game, we just really stuck it out and just played really hard. So, yeah. Matt, can you talk a little bit about how you kind of see the game, kind of how you kind of determine when to, when to attack, when to kind of take that extra gear up and kind of take over? Well, the first half, I was in foul trouble. And uh, my teammates, Juwan, Jacoby, Andre, they were just telling me, like, Matt, like, you just got to come out there and just – uh, you know, set an example, like stay strong. And then when I came back the second half, I just, I was just second nature. I wasn't really thinking much. I was just playing, and um, it felt really good. So. Yeah. Anything else for the guys? Thanks, everyone.